With Amazon Honeycode, AWS enters the no-code application competition. Amazon Honeycode allows you to develop a custom application without writing a single line of code. It combines the ability to create applications using the simplicity and familiarity of a spreadsheet but with the data management capacity of a database. And according to Gartner's last year estimation, this no-code approach will represent over 65% of application development inside companies by 2024. But before we discuss any more about Honeycode, I would like to address the agenda for today's topic. Firstly, we will understand what exactly is Amazon Honeycode then have an overview on it. Next, we will see some of the advantages of using Honeycode and also see a case study on it. Finally, to conclude our session, I'll create a sample application using Honeycode. Our first topic is, what is Amazon Honeycode? Amazon Honeycode is a fully managed service that allows individuals to quickly build powerful mobile and web application. This can be used by individuals who need application to track and manage things like process approvals, even scheduling, customer relationship management for user service, or it can be as simple as making a to-do list or even content and inventory tracking. The service would be right for them because they no longer have to do so by error-prone methods like emailing spreadsheet or document or hiring and waiting for developer to build them a costly custom application. Now this application is only available in the beta version. Beta version is nothing but a pre-release of software that is given out to a large group of users to try it under real conditions. Now that you people know what is Amazon Honeycode, let us move on to the next topic and see an overview on Amazon Honeycode. So in this session, we will take a look at what are the features available in Honeycode in order to build our application. Firstly, we have the Honeycode table. This table looks exactly like a spreadsheet table but acts as a database table. The values you enter here are stored in the database. You can enter your own data or you can also transfer CSV file from Amazon S3 to Honeycode. And you can do this with the help of Amazon AppFlow. Honeycode table supports pick lists and checkboxes and you can also relate data across multiple tables. Your data format can be either text, number, contact, which could include name, phone number, email ID of a person, or it could be currency, percentage, or date and time. So the next part of Amazon Honeycode is the app build, which is usually used to build your application screen or the user interface. Now this is where you connect your data from the tables to an app interface. You can either choose to build your application from scratch or use the existing app wizard to start with a set of pre-configured app screens. You can add a lot of features such as switches, buttons, forms, radio buttons, and many more. If you want, you can also add objects for user inputs in the app. You can experiment a lot and choose the right one for your application. And with App Build, you can also build separate layout for mobile and web applications. After the App Builder, we have Automation. Now, Automation, as the name suggests, will allow you to add immediate actions after a particular instance happen. The automation available in Honeycode are Send Notification, which will notify a particular member of your team that a task is assigned. Then you can also add, delete, or update any row in the database table. You can also override some of the values in a table. For example, if a task is completed, you can just update a table with a click of a button. Then we also have Navigate, which will navigate the user to a particular page. Now that you have an overview of Amazon Honeycode, let us move on to our next topic and see some of the benefits of using Honeycode. One of the main advantages, in order to build your application, no programming knowledge is required. So anyone can be an app builder. The second advantage is you can build web and mobile application that works on your desktop browser, iOS, or even Android. You can also change the interface for web and mobile application, which means you can have a different interface for desktop browser and different for your mobile phones. Honeycode application helps teams stay in the loop. This is because all teammates have access to the same data, which can be updated in real time. It can also help your team members stay focused because the app can be personalized to show data that's relevant to each individual team member. With Honeycode, you can also automate manual steps and you can notify the team about updates or remind people when it's their turn to take action. The fourth advantage is you can customize this application at any time and the changes will be deployed immediately. Also, you can access this application from anywhere across the globe. These were some of the benefits of using Amazon Honeycode. 
Now let us move on to the next topic and see a case study on Amazon Honeycode. So in today's session, we'll discuss a testimonial by Laura Ottolora. So Laura and her sister started selling colorful face masks using social channels such as Instagram and Facebook. So when the orders started flooding in, it was difficult for them to stay organized as they were coordinating orders across multiple social accounts while managing their inventory levels. They were operating in both the US and Colombia. Initially, they tried emailing Freshsheet back and forth to track the orders, but it was causing a lot of confusion and also wasted a lot of time. So they started using Honeycode. They built a simple application which was suitable for their business requirement. Their Honeycode application helped them input orders, track payments, and record when the orders were shipped. As a result, the sales went up to 25% because they were able to spend more time with the customer and less time coordinating orders. Now let us move on to the demo part and build an application for employees task list. So let's search for Amazon Honeycode. We click on this link. It should direct us to Amazon Honeycode page. So if you don't have an account, you can just create one over here. All you have to do is enter your full name, your email address and create a password. But I already have an account, so let me just sign in. So when you log in for the first time, Honeycode will guide you how to start. What steps should you take to create an application? So our first step is to create a table. So we'll just click on create workbook over here. It will give you a set of options. You can either start from scratch or import a CSV to table or you can use either one of this template. We'll start from scratch. Let's name our workbook as team task and create a workbook. Now you can see the Honeycomb table looks just like a spreadsheet but actually is a database table that stores your data. Now let's start adding values to a table. First we'll edit the column names. So first column would be serial number, second the name of the task, third one assigned to whom, fourth column would be what is the status of the task. Next we have the start date and the deadline. Now let's enter the value for our tables. One name of a task will have Amazon Honeycode. To be assigned to, let's say it's assigned to me, and the status is pending. Now, the start date let me give as 10 po 2021, and the deadline let me say I'll give it a week time 17 4 2021. Now, we can change the format of the states. Just click on this, go to formats, and just click on date. Now the format is set for start date. Now let us do the same for deadline as well. Format date. Now let's add another value to let's say Amazon EC2. Let it be assigned to me and the status would be done. Start date 5-4-2021 and the end date will give it as 11 2021. As I mentioned in the theory before, this table also supports pick lists and check boxes. Now let us add a pick list to a status. So we'll select this column, go to format, and select pick list from here. So we'll click on the source over here and create a new source. And here we have the table name as table one status. Like this is the column we want to add a pick list to. Then the pick list items will be done and pending. So we'll just save it as another table. Now you can see we can change the pending to done if you want to. So our table is done. Let us now rename our table. So we'll just double click on this and change it to team task. Another thing you cannot add space over here. Spaces aren't allowed here. So we'll just make it team task and it's done. Now let us move on to the next step which is building our app. So we'll click on app builder over here. And you can click on the plus sign over here. So it'll give you two options. You can either use the app wizard or you can build from scratch. With app wizard, you can just start with a set of pre-configured app screen. All you have to do is just add data. So let's just start with an app wizard. Here you get a message saying a new table was created from your source. 
So here it'll ask you to choose your table. You can just click over here and you can select your team task table. It will make your application within a few seconds. Then it will ask you to review your details. You can scroll down and see what are the column names. So this is what your app would look like. Now after you've reviewed it, you can just click on next over here. When you click on next, you will see the detailed view of your row. This is how it will look like. Now if you want to change the column value, you can click on edit over here. For example, assign to. If only the work is assigned to me, then I wouldn't edit this. But if I want to assign the work to somebody else, I'll just edit assign to. So you can assign the work to anybody else other than me. So we'll just edit everything because the name of the task will change. The serial number will change. The status will change. So even the start date and the deadline would change. So after we have reviewed our information, let's click on next. Next we'll have the form. So if you want to enter any details, you can enter over here. So you can see serial number, name, assigned to, status you can select, the start date and the deadline. So after we review this, let's click on done. And in a few seconds, our app will be created. We'll just click on view app over here. And here our app is created. You can search for any values over here. With Amazon Honeycode, you can use up to 10,000 rows for free. Also, 20 users can access the app for free. So if you want to search for a particular keyword within the 10,000 rows, you can just enter your keyword over here. Now, if you want to add any values, you can click on the plus sign and this form page will open where you can enter all the values. So let's not add any values over here. Now, if you want to change the status from pending to done, I'll just click on this and change it to done. And it will get updated in the application. See, you can see done over here. You see, it is so simple to create an application using Amazon Honeycode. Now you can also add automation if you want to. Let us take a look at automation now. So we'll cancel this. Yes. And click on automation. So you can see the information about automation over here. So the type of automation which is supported in Honeycode are notify, which will send notification to a particular member of your team. Then we have add a row or delete a row from the table. Or you can also overwrite a value in the table. You can update or insert a row in the table as well. And finally, you have the webhook. Now a webhook is a method of altering behavior of a web page with custom callings. So you can add any of this automation to your app according to your convenience. Now I do not want to add any automation to my application. So I'll let it be that way. Now let us view our application again. You see it is so simple to create an application in Amazon Anycode. You can also share your application with your team members by just clicking on share apps over here. Now if you enter any email ID over here, the person will get invitation to join your team and access your application. You can also add that person to your team and give him or her access to make changes in your application. So with this demo, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you people would have learned something from this video. Happy learning.